Welcome to our online. Here we're going to look at an example how to calculate the transmission coefficient for a cylinder that's upright where the, where the airflow is perpendicular to the cylinder. And of course that will depend upon the Nusselt number. And the Nusselt number can be calculated by multiplying that, that constant times the Reynolds number raised to some exponent times the Prattle number raised to typically the one-third exponent. Notice in our example, we're going to set the Prattle number equal to 0.6, uh, not 0 0.6, 0 0.609, and we're going to set the Reynolds number equal to 137,000. We can calculate those numbers by knowing the characteristic length, which in this case would be 0.5, would be equal to the diameter, the velocity of the wind, or the air, I should say, the density of the air, and the viscosity of the air. To calculate the Prattle number, we need to know the viscosity, we need to know the specific heat, and we need to know the conductivity constant. So once we plug that in, and we've shown you how to do that on some previous videos, we must make sure that in order for this equation to be valid, we don't violate that the Prattle number must be greater than 0.6, and the Reynolds number must be less than 300,000, or we need to use a different equation to, to figure that out. So notice that the Prattle number raised to one-third power always comes out to a number that's relatively close to one, and that doesn't change a lot. The biggest change is going to come in from the Reynolds number, which then will command the constant here, and the exponent, there could be a lot of variability there. Here we have a table that allows us to find some of these values. Now, of course, these values are approximate values because they're, they're valid for a range of values. Obviously, if the Reynolds number is 50, you should get a different number than when the Reynolds number is like 3,500. But just to give you a, a feel, you could see, you could potentially extrapolate to get a, a little bit more accurate of a value. But notice we fall in the category where the Reynolds number is somewhere between 40,000 and 250,000. So we get these two values for the exponent and for the constant. So in calculating the Nusselt number, that's going to be equal to the constant, which is going to be 0 0.0266, multiplied times the Reynolds number. The Reynolds number we said was going to be 137,255 raised to the exponent of 0.805, multiply times the Prattle number, which is 0 0.609, and then multiply, no, raised to the one-third power, which is typical. So now with a calculator, let's find out what those values are equal to. So 0 0.609 raised to the one-third power, and so that's about 0.85, notice it's close to one, and then we'll multiply that times 137,255 raised to the 0.805 power, and then multiply times 0 0.0266 equals about 308. So we have a Nusselt number here, which is equal to 308, and then we plug that into our equation here to find the transmission coefficient with that kind of airflow, so H is equal to K, and we have a value for K. Ah, I didn't put a value down for K, so let me look and see what I wanted to use for K, 0 0.026. So we had K is equal to 0 0.026, that would be watts per meter uh, per Kelvin. So that goes in here, 0 0.026, multiply times the Nusselt number, which is 308, and then divided by the length, in this case would be 0 0.5, and so it gives us a transmission coefficient in terms of watts per square meter per Kelvin. So 308 times 0 0.026 divided by 0 0.5, and we get hmm, 16. So it gives us 16 watts per square meter per Kelvin. So once we have the transmission coefficient, we can then calculate of course, that wasn't part of our problem, but let's go ahead and put on the board the amount of heat we can extract from, let's say, a hot cylinder when cold air flows over the cylinder. And that would then be calculated by saying Q dot, the amount of heat per unit time, would be equal to the difference in the temperature divided by uh, 1 over the transmission coefficient times the surface area of the cylinder. And that is how it's done.